What's up guys? It's Friday and so it's time for What The Fitness. Let's get them. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment for the algorithm. It is from Dr. Kiltz and it says keto is great, but... So, but at least he's not wearing a lab coat. Props for that, no lab coat. I appreciate that. Keto's great. It's a high fat, low to no carbs. Eating fat suppresses inflammation. That's the key. So why carnivore? Keto is pedestrian. It's for the masses. Oh. Carnivore is for the masters. It's the very best <laughs> because it removes the plant toxins. Oh, the plant toxins. The phytochemicals, <gasps> the antigens, the bacteria, yeast, and viruses that ferment in your gut. <gasps> and also, they too get into your bloodstream and go everywhere and wreak havoc on your body. It's fatty meat, by the way, not lean meat. Human oh. beings are carnivores for the last three and a half million years. Holy You've crap. You've only been eating grass and grains for the last 10,000 and now in a high quantity because of great marketing by the masters of marketing. They want to convince you to eat, guess what? Grass and grains. Meat makes you the master. That's it. It's simple. Your brain sparkles. Your energy is vibration and your creativity explodes. Just check out drkilts.com and uh, Kilts is Keto Carnivore. The guy for a healthy life. So I looked this guy up. He's actually a fertility doctor, but apparently he's also uh, an anthropologist, nutritionist. You know, all these guys, they have the same, it's like, stay woke, brah. Oh, keto, keto, that's for the masses. Carnivore, and of course a picture of a lion pops up. Carnivore, that's for the masters. You know what, lions are actual carnivores. Cats are actual carnivores, obligate carnivores. Have you noticed that they like have a lot different physiology than ours? Fangs and claws, and oh by the way, their GI system is like completely different than humans. We have a decently long, large bowel for the process of fermentation so we can produce short chain fatty acids. Like this idea that, oh, plants have these toxic compounds in them. If plants have toxic compounds, they're really doing a crappy job of killing us, I gotta tell you. Because people who eat more plants live longer. Like how is this actually a debate? Like I realize that correlation isn't necessarily causation, but in like pretty much every scientific study, people who eat more plants live longer. And cue the carnivore, oh, it's just healthy user bias, dude. No, it's not. Not when it's like every single study and meta-analysis. Let's look at meat consumption. I am a fan of lean proteins. I think they're great. I'm a fan of animal protein. And I've said for a while, I don't think that the negative health outcomes that are associated with high meat consumption is due to the meat. I think it's due to the high fat content, saturated fat content, and the fact that people who eat higher levels of meat don't eat as much fruit and vegetables. Those toxic compounds. And there was actually a study by Maximov in 2020 where they looked at people who ate high amounts of meat but also ate high amounts of fruits and vegetables. And guess what? When people ate high amounts of meat and high amounts of fruits and vegetables, they did not have a higher risk of cancer or heart disease. But people who ate high amounts of meat or low amounts of meat with low amounts of fruits and vegetables had higher risk of cancer and heart disease. This idea that plants have toxic compounds in them, I can literally take any food and I can find one compound in that that food that if you gave it in a high dose would be toxic. Water is toxic if you get it at a high enough dose because you basically dilute your electrolytes to the point where you die. The dosage makes the poison and there are only one of two options I can think of to explain the fact that this guy made it through med school without understanding that. I guess the person who graduates last in their med school class is still called doctor or he knows it and doesn't care because he's making money off this, or he knows it and has such bad cognitive dissonance that he's wiped it from his consciousness. I also want you to note some of the language he uses. He says, it goes everywhere in your body and it wreaks havoc. Sounds bad. Objectively define havoc, doc. What are you referring to specifically? What are these plant toxins doing? The worst thing you can find, the worst thing is they've got oxalates, and that's gonna give you kidney stones. Okay, so let's look at people who eat high amounts of plants and the incidence of kidney stones. Oh, people who actually eat more fruits and vegetables have a lower incidence of kidney stones. Who'd have thunk? Hard outcome data over mechanisms. This guy, legit just trying to sell you something. I don't know if he's on TRT, that's his business, but he certainly has the appearance of someone who may be taking TRT, which is my favorite thing in the world when these 50, 60 year old dudes who are still jacked and everyone's like saying, yeah, look at them, see, it's their diet, or it's the TRT. <laughs> I mean, again, I don't know for sure. If the guy is drug free, hey, 
awesome, congratulations. It's possible, but I've just seen this movie before. And then his comment about fat suppresses inflammation. Compared to what? Compared to dietary carbohydrate? That doesn't seem to be true. Compared to dietary fiber? Definitely not true. Compared to lean meats? Also not true. If you look, at least at acute inflammatory responses to meals, high fat meals actually have a greater inflammatory response, especially when it's saturated fat, compared to lower fat meals. So again, unfortunately, what it takes to disseminate misinformation is very, very easy. You just pleh, say whatever the hell you want, and then it takes somebody like me 10 times as long to come along and debunk it. This guy may be a perfectly good OBGYN, may be a perfectly good fertility doctor, but my guess is he probably just couldn't hack it doing that, and now he's ventured into nutrition because as many physicians have seen, if you have DR in front of your name, a bunch of people will listen to you, even though you have no idea what you're talking about because physicians get almost zero nutrition training. People go, well, they know the human body. Okay, cool. My BS is in biochemistry. My PhD is nutritional sciences. I have DR in front of my name. I know the human body. I've taken advanced physiology courses. I'll be your fertility doctor. Since apparently it's cool for him to give nutrition advice, should be cool for me to give fertility advice. You can DM me with all fertility treatment options. I'm now running a special. I'll give you fertility advice for $99.99 because normal procreation is for the masses. BioLane Fertility for the masters.